Good morning, guys. This is Carol. How are you? We um, tried a new recipe. Let me remind you guys, this is not a cooking channel. Just occasionally we show you what we eat. Uh, my granddaughter Taylor found this recipe and she wanted to try it. Uh, you know, I grew up in New Mexico. I've lived in Texas forever. We eat Tex-Mex all the time. And Tex-Mex pretty much consists of the same ingredients just mixed up a different way <laughs> today it's lasagna so this is mexican lasagna first you ground uh you brown a pound of ground beef with some diced up onion salt and pepper brown that and, and then drain the grease off oh by the way i didn't cook this so it's not cremated <laughs> uh casey and taylor casey's my daughter taylor's my granddaughter Casey's niece, uh, they cooked for me because my hip hurt so bad yesterday. It hurt to just take a few steps. I don't know what I did to my hip. But anyway, Casey and Taylor cooked for me yesterday. You brown the meat with a chopped up onion. Then you drain the grease off. When you uh, get the grease, grease drained off, you return the meat to the pan and you add one can of refried beans and a package of uh, taco seasoning and you stir that all up cook it with three-fourths cup of water until the water cooks down okay then you mix up the uh, sour cream layer this is one cup of sour cream and a cup and a half of salsa or piccani sauce like paste you stir that up really well Set that aside, and then you're going to grate some cheese. The recipe says you need four cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Uh, Casey and Taylor went to the store and got Colby cheddar mix. Then you're ready to make your layers. In your 9 by 13 pan, you put flour tortillas. The next layer is the sour cream mixture. Then you put a layer of the meat refried bean mixture, and then cheese. Um, and then you start over. You do those layers three times, ending with cheese on the top. And then you uh, put it in the oven at 350. Um, let's see how long they cooked it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm looking at the recipe on another phone. I'm trying to find how long you cook it. 15 to 20 minutes. Watch it so you don't cremate the cheese. <laughs> we thought this was really good. We liked it. And we would definitely make this again. We had it with salad and guacamole. And all of us really liked it. So I thought I'd share that recipe with you today. Okay. That was the good recipe. <laughs> then, you know, I've told you that I just love to scroll through Pinterest and look at all the recipes and craft projects and how to watercolor, all that stuff. I love Pinterest. I discovered this recipe for ice cream bread. Have you ever made ice cream bread? I didn't even know it was a thing, but after I saw the first recipe, I searched and there, it, it's all over Pinterest. It, the same recipe basically all you need are two cups of ice cream now it has to be full fat ice cream real ice cream did you know that blue bunny is a frozen dessert because it doesn't have full fat um casey likes to buy blue bunny frozen dessert but i like ice cream <laughs> anyway you need two cups of your favorite flavor of ice cream you let it sit on the counter for about 15 minutes till it it gets more the consistency of soft serve ice cream um i put mine in the, i measured it out and then i put it in a bowl so when it melted it would have room to expand then you need um self-rising flour i did not have self-rising flour so i looked up what you need to do, you add salt and baking powder to flour, and then you've got the equivalent of self-rising flour. You, um, oh shoot, how much did I use? Hang on. 
Okay, I needed uh, a cup and a half of self-rising flour, so I measured out all-purpose flour and added two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk that together real good, and then I stirred it into the ice cream. That was a lot of flour to incorporate into that ice cream, but it didn't take very many minutes. It said don't use a mixer because it will just all get stuck inside of there. Just use a spoon. So um, that's what I did. It was actually pretty easy. Got that done really quick. And then all you do is spray a loaf pan and pour this in. The recipe that I saw for strawberry ice cream bread said add a fourth a cup of chopped up strawberries. So I did that. Okay, there it is in my loaf pan. And uh, I added some sliced strawberries onto the top, like the site that I was reading had. And then you put it in um, the oven, 350 degrees, and you put it in there for 45 minutes or until the top is golden brown and a toothpick comes out clean. I'm sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. Anyway, uh, you're supposed to bake that for 45 minutes. Well, I really watched it, and at 40 minutes, I took it out. A toothpick came out clean, and so I put it on a cooling rack for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then I turned it out of the, the glass loaf pan. It came out really nice just came right out then I flipped it over so I could see my strawberries and I had my ice cream bread I thought that was the nastiest stuff I ever put in my mouth almost <laughs> it sliced really nice I mean uh, I took my bread knife and it just sliced so nice it looked good but it is, it's bread, not a cake, so it doesn't taste like cake at all. It's not sweet. It was just not like what I expected. <laughs> um, I, I, I would have counted this as a fail. Casey took it and made a powdered sugar glaze to put on the top, and that made it edible. But I would not try this again. But let me tell you, on Pinterest, oh, all these sites said, this is so good, it tastes like a scone. Well, I've never had a scone. Maybe I wouldn't like a scone either. I don't know. But one lady suggested you make this for a bake sale at school because everybody would buy it because they'd want to try ice cream bread. Oh, my goodness. No, please don't. <laughs> If you've ever tried it and you liked it, please let me know. I mean, there were just nice comments all over the place. But then I went to some websites like Taste of Home and other ones and read the comments there. A lot of people said, oh, this was so bland. It was horrible. We threw it away. <laughs> If you've made ice cream bread and you liked it, let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. But anyway, we gave it a try and don't think I'll be trying that ever again. In fact, I know I won't, but I want to hear if you've ever made it and it turned out to be something you really liked. Okay, guys, I'm going to go for, for today. I'll talk to you in the next video. Please leave me a comment and let me know what's going on in your world. Oh, and then because I like to keep it real, I had no dirty dishes before we started cooking these two recipes. I had no dirty dishes. <laughs> but after we ate, I sure had a sink full of dirty dishes. Okay, just keeping it real, people. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.